Hello, my name is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'm going to show you how to grab SILS site. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, we have a faculty learning community, and they're all doing several projects, probably about 13 projects are underway now, uh, some of them further along than others. And SIL Flores wants to create a community with the goal of a future without poverty. Now, SIL is a wonderful individual. He has a heart as big as a barn, and he lives his life to reduce poverty in the world. And we're certainly lucky to have Sill at Northern Kentucky University. And Sill has come from Texas, and he's got a site in Texas, and he came to my office the other day, and he says, Mike, I've got this site, but I can't necessarily get it. So, And I know it's very locked down. It's very secure. And I said, well, Sill, let's bring that site over to Northern Kentucky University, and I bet you I can grab it from the web without even going through the channels that might take weeks and weeks, maybe months to get. And since you have ownership... Hey, let's get it going today. So I actually have grabbed Sill's site from the web. I'm going to show you how to do that using HTTrack and Wireshark. So the site we want to grab off the web is Future Without Poverty by Sill Flores. And Sill was certain that that site was locked down. There was no way we were going to be able to do it. But the two pieces of software that we're going to use to grab it off the web are HTTrack and Wireshark. Now, if you want to learn more about HTTrack and Wireshark, I do have tutorials on the web on YouTube. Just go to youtube.com uh, forward slash Mike NKU and go to my playlist under free software and tutorials on how to use them. And you can look at the videos downloading websites for offline viewing, introduction to Wireshark, cookies and grabbing passwords in Wireshark, data mining using Wireshark part one, two, and three, and if you want to learn more about how, use, how to use these pieces of software, in this tutorial we're actually just going to apply this software. So let's get to the business of doing so. So we want to capture SIL's Future Without Poverty site. And the first thing we want to do is capture the bulk of the site using HTTrack. So let's grab the website address www.futurewithoutpoverty.org and copy that and bring up HTTrack. Now, if you want to learn more about HTTrack, of course, go to our YouTube video on HTTrack and watch it. So hit Next, and we'll give it a project name. We'll go FT, Future Without Poverty, something like that. And we want to put it in a certain website. So we need to create a folder to dump it into. I'm going to go to My Documents, and we'll just create a folder to put the site in. And we'll just go FTPV, okay? And we're ready to go now. What we want to do is go ahead and now navigate to that folder that we just created. So now we need to navigate to the folder we just created. We're in My Documents. Let's navigate to that folder, which is FTWP. And hit OK. And go Next. And we're just going to paste the address right into the web address URL and hit Next. And the site begins downloading from Texas. And now the bulk of the site is on my computer. Let's go ahead and navigate and take a look at that. Go to My Documents and FTWP. And there's the site. And we'll go Feature Without Poverty. And you can see you've got the index pages. You've got the styles. And you have the images. But the one thing you didn't get are the videos because there's videos on this website. I'm actually going to go back here and go to the index page and click on that, which I have on my local drive. You can see now SIL site is coming up on my local drive. You can see it's coming from the C drive here. And uh, it is an attractive site. But when you click on the program videos and you hit play video, the videos play, but they're not playing from the site. They're actually playing from some other place. I need to determine where that place is. And I'm going to use Wireshark to do that. And once I find out where those videos are coming from, I can grab them and bring them to my local hard drive. So let's do that right now. And the program to do that with is Wireshark. So we were able to grab the bulk of the site. All the HTML pages, the images, the cascading style sheets, but we didn't get the videos. In order to get the videos, we're going to have to use a program called Wireshark. So go ahead once again and copy the address www.futurewithoutpoverty to get that on our clipboard. And let's bring up Wireshark. Now, if you want to learn more about Wireshark, just go to my YouTube videos and watch those parts one, two, and three. 
and you'll be a Wireshark expert. We have Wireshark up right now. Let's bring up a blank HTML page. And now let's paste uh, Sil's address in that page. And if you want to know how to make your a page blank, just uh, check out the video part one. And we're not going to run it yet. We're actually going to bring up um, Wireshark and get it running. So hit Capture, Interfaces, and here's the active IP right here. And click on Start. And now everything I do will come up in the page here. Let's go ahead and go to the site now. And you can see we are grabbing packets from the web. So I want to grab the video packet information from Sill's site. So let's go to Sill's site real quick, Future Without Poverty. And I have the full uh, HTML address there. I'm not running from my C drive. And I want to make sure before I start the capture of the packets that I'm actually on the videos. So I want to make sure that the first thing I click will be the packet needed to launch the video that will give me that video information. So now we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and clear this. And we'll start a new capture, Interfaces, and just click on the active IP and continue without saving. So it's blank now. Let's bring up Sill's site and let's click on that first video and grab that packet. So the video comes up and we can see packets are being grabbed. Let's go ahead and stop the capture so we don't get confused by too many packets. And let's go through here and see if we can find out where the video address is. So let's page all the way back up to the top. And we're only going to look at the HTTP expressions, so we'll filter out by using HTTP filter. So return. And I can see there's a git and there's a git. Let's look at the second git. And let's see if we can find any information in that. So I've clicked on the second git and I'm looking at some of the information here. And here's the bits down here. And boy, that would be difficult to go through. Let's use our little trick. Click on analyze and go to follow TCP stream. And when I do that, I find here in location HTTP VP dot video and then video download. Ho ho ho. Let's go ahead and grab that HTTP address and see if we can indeed just download the video by clicking on that address in our browser. Let's go to the end of it and go backwards and capture the address. Copy it. And now let's go to our browser, bring up a browser. And let's paste that very long address into our browser. And now let's click go. And it says save. And look at that, that's the AVI. It's actually an FLV with a .AVI on it. Let's put that in the SIL Flores folder, which is FTPWP. And you can see, indeed, we are downloading an FLV. We're going to check it out once it downloads and see if that is, indeed, the right video. So we're back in my downloads. Let's go to where we put the video in FTPWP. And there's my FLV. We're going to right-click and open it up in Bridge. And let's play it and see if it's the right video. So we're in Adobe Bridge. Let's go ahead and play this video and see if it is indeed the right video. And there it is. Poverty knows no borders. And so we got the first video. Let's go ahead and download the next three in the same way. So today we've seen how to grab both the HTML portion of the site using HTTrack and the video portion of the site, which is difficult to get using Wireshark. And you can see this is a very uh, important technology to use, especially if you're an instructional designer. Many times people come to me and they don't have their site, so they can't gain access even though they're owners. They have moved from one university to another. They've forgotten their passwords or whatever. And using these techniques, you can pretty much grab all the resources that you need. Thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University.